Under a house again, sewer water tests are such an important deal and today we're gonna show you why. I'm actually under a house here in Richardson, Texas that the homeowner bought that literally we ended up tunneling about 80 feet to repair all the broken cast iron. Now this should have been found out by the homeowner beforehand. I don't know if their realtor recommended it or not, but we always recommend sewer water tests to home buyers. That way they don't walk into a situation where they're in trouble. Absolutely, home buyer beware. If you're a plumber or a real estate agent, do me a favor and leave me a comment at the end of this video. Let me know, have you found slab leaks like this where maybe all the cast iron pipe needed to be replaced or stick around to the end, maybe even a water leak repair that just kind of pops up. Anyway, check this out, hang around to the end and let me know what you think. I'd like to hear your comments. So these are the kind of jobs I hate, tunneling up under houses. Now don't get me wrong, we're good at it and we specialize in it. We specialize in slab leaks and leak detection. But when you've got a homeowner that just bought a house and then has to come in and spend tens of thousands of dollars. Now we've been here before. Remember the line coming in, goes around, we showed you all that? Well, they ran into other problems. The branch line that went off here that catches the kitchen and the other end of the house, after we got all this done and could isolate this, it leaked too. So now there's about 40 more feet of tunnel going over that way. Now, you would think that as a plumber, I would love jobs like this. They're big jobs, they pay well. But here's my problem. The homeowner could have avoided this. The homeowner could have actually done a sewer water test before they purchased this house. Now look at me, I'm covered in mud and I haven't even been here 15 minutes. I've had guys over here working for over a week now. By the time we did the main line, got everything in, done and tested, it held. Then we tested this and it didn't. So now we had to go that way. Now we've got branch lines that go out, but you can actually see the cast iron pipe is rotten. It's got cracks in it, it's got holes in it, it's got places where it completely collapsed. And you can see by the rust inside, it's been that way for a long time. This is not something new. Home buyer beware you need to actually do a sewer water test before you buy a house. Do a sewer test, have them fill it up with water and see if it holds. Don't let a plumbing company tell you they can test this just by running a camera. We've seen jobs like this where we can run a camera in it and not see a thing. But then whenever we go to test it with water, it will not hold. Guys, this could have saved the homeowner tens of thousands of dollars. The reason being, a sewer water test would have put it back on the seller. Now the seller may have never known there was a problem or maybe they did and they just wanted to get rid of the headache. Anyway, doing a job like this to a lot of plumbing companies, it's fun. They make good money, but the problem is I don't want to make my money that way. I really want homeowners to be aware of what's going on. I want home buyers to be aware of a sewer water test and the fact that a plumber cannot damage the system by testing it. And that way they do sewer water tests more often. I really wish every home buyer in the state of Texas would do a sewer water test before they ever buy a house. That way, if it doesn't hold, they can go back to the homeowner, let them take care of it before they sell the house. Guys, this is a lot of fun. Don't get me wrong, I love playing in the mud, but I hate the fact of seeing that somebody who just spent three or $400,000 on a house is now having to spend 60 or 70,000 just to get the sewer popping working right. I hate to see that. Anyway, let's crawl through this thing. Let's check it out. Let's see what kind of problems I can show you that you need to be aware of. And we'll see what we've done to help make it better for this home buyer. Hopefully we can get them all taken care of, get this backfilled, and get out of here. So you remember what the pipe looked like. Remember, when we pulled this out the other end, we actually, we shot a lot of video of the rust, the breaks, the crack, the bad pipe, the bad fittings, everything that was up under there. I want y'all to remember that because this is what is under a lot of houses that people are buying these days. If you want to know if this house is worth purchasing, you need to realize that you need to do a sewer water test to know what the pipe under it is like. So. Let's get back down in there. Okay, so here's what we came through last time. We literally came down, we made a curve there. We showed you what the pipe looked like from the other end. The reason that we did that, that way you could see where we tied onto the cast iron, what we still had to do, but where this whole line comes from and where it goes to. Now, if you remember, we had the branch that went off to the kitchen and that's what we're working on now. So let's go ahead and move up to that because what we've got to do right down here towards the end is we've actually got to cut in a fitting that way we can branch off and go over to that kitchen line and get that all taken care of. So my guys actually got under it and figured out right where that line is and marked it. That way they would know 
exactly where to cut in a branch piece. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to cut this out and then put in a combination that way we can roll up and over and catch the kitchen line. And my guys are trying to figure out, do they wanna put it where it's right where the line is now? Do we wanna relocate the line where it runs down? Because this line that goes over also catches the laundry room. So we wanna make sure we've got everything in a position where it's gonna be easy to work with and we can get it in right and not have any problems. So first of all, once they get their mark on where they want the branch, now they've gotta figure out where to cut that combination in. Once they cut that combination in, then they can start running that line, but getting that combination in in the right spot is critical. One thing we always think about under here is you have to get everything perfect, meaning you want your fall right, you want your hangers right, you want the spacing right. You wanna make sure you do things so that everything's gonna be good, and it's gonna last a long time for this customer. This is an expensive investment. You wanna make sure you're doing it above and beyond everything you can do to make sure it lasts forever. Now that they know where it's going, they make the cut. Now the big thing is to make sure that you get everything prepped right. You bevel the inside, you file the outside, you get everything lined up. Put your combination on at the right angle. It's turned the right direction. There's so many things to go through and think about and under here, you get real busy and sometimes it's easy to make mistakes, but you wanna make sure you get it all done, get it all done right, and get it all done in the right position. Then after you get it done and you start putting the pieces back together, because remember, we cut this in a branch line. Now you wanna make sure that when you're putting this back together, everything lines up perfect and the fall is perfect. You wanna get it right. Another thing to think about too is what materials are you using? If you're working under a house, remember, you're underground, you're in mud, it's wet, things literally start rusting as soon as you put them in the ground. So you wanna make sure you're using the right materials, not just for the job, but for your hangers, your nuts, your washers, the right anchors, the right rod. Make sure you're using materials that are gonna last through time. You want to provide the best product that you can for the customers, and that's why this is such a big deal. All right. Now y'all have all heard it, it happens. Here's the thing, we actually had to chip out concrete to get a section of pipe out where the hub went up in the beam. Guess what? The dig crew hit a water line. You, know, you can't get mad, the water lines go up in there and you're trying to chip concrete and you can't see what's in it. It's part of what it is. But you've gotta think about that when you bid these jobs, when you look at these jobs and when you're in there chipping concrete out on these jobs. If there's a piece of copper up in the beam, you can actually hit it with your chipping hammer. So you wanna be very careful of doing that. As you can see, I mean, there's another line right there that looks almost completely twisted. I wanna make sure I get over there and look at that. You wanna make sure that you do put everything back right. So we had a repair to make on the water line because the concrete guys hit it with the chipping hammer. Here my guys are in there making a seal floss joint up under the slab. I know you've heard it before, it happens. But you've gotta be prepared for anything. And we needed to get the water back onto them so we're getting it all taken care of. So let me ask you if you're a plumber, do you do sewer water tests and do you do slab leak repairs? Meaning do you tunnel under a slab like this? As you see, we've got plenty of room to work and we get in there and get things done and get it done right by using the right materials and doing things the right way. So now you see why it's so important to do that sewer water test before you buy a house. Whether it's a leak on the cast iron, whether you've got complete rotten pipe or just a certain location that's leaking because it wasn't put together properly or because the house shifted, the mud shifted, it's got roots in it, there's a million different reasons. But now do you see why that's so important? This literally could have turned out to be an 80 to $100,000 job. So think about that. If you bought a house for $400,000 and you didn't do a sewer water test, now you're gonna have to pay another 25% just to get the plumbing working. Why make that mistake? Invest in a sewer water test, make sure that you're protected as a homeowner. And if you're a plumber, any real estate agent you know or any home buyer you know, you should be recommending these to them every day. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what do you think? Did this help you out? I hope it did. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.